Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm coming to you with a throwback sort of. Yeah. And my first time kind of putting it all together as well. But I'm reviewing the Kinky Curly brand. So if you're interested in finding out more about how these work or thinking about revisiting it and wanting to know how it stacks up against my newer products, definitely stay tuned. So the shampoo, you guys saw me. The shampoo, be very careful. Be very careful. Treat this with respect. This shampoo is super strong, very clarifying, very stripping, and it will totally mess you up if you try to just it'll mess you up. I put a few drops of this in a whole bottle of water like this and that's how I was able to use it because last time I did it like that and I just practically wanted to cry. It was almost as bad as the Trader Joe's tea tree shampoo for me which is the all time worst or harshest but this is second in terms of the second harshest shampoo I've ever used. So warning, disclaimer, sirens, lights, be careful with this. Definitely diluted in water. But if you do all that, it does cleanse your hair and it doesn't strip it too, too much if you dilute it a lot. But I don't think I would repurchase this. I don't know. I don't know if my life would ever call for like super clarifying. Like if you fall into a pit of tar, <laughs> You might want to have this handy, but I don't know how often that's going to happen. These are the ingredients. Of course, her stuff is the ingredients are super hard to read, so hopefully you can see that. But these are the ingredients. The ingredients are fine. I guess nothing in there I would have said your hair is about to be dried the bleep out. But I don't know, like the C1416 olefin sulfonate. Maybe that's why it's so strong. I don't know. But it smells nice and everything. It's just... Super strong. I like the scent. It's like a very mild, a very mild fruity scent, but I do like the scent. And the ingredients are nice in terms of clean. I think all of the everything that I'm showing you, the ingredients are pretty clean and pretty simple too. In terms of the deep conditioner, so I tried this before and I thought it was fine. And of course, I just tried it again. And I think I had pretty much the same review. It was fine. So my hair felt soft and moisturized and nice and everything. So yeah, for all of that but the slip wasn't the best. So I think I didn't even notice the slip as much when I tried it at first because I hadn't been using all my HG sheep scented and stuff, but now that I'm using my things with super slip, this especially coming right after that shampoo, so probably have to do all of these, probably have to do these again without the shampoo because they're telling that shampoo. It did definitely put all the moisture back in my hair after the shampoo, so yay for that. It's probably super moisturizing. And it's super thick as well, so a little goes a long way. Because this is a pretty tiny jar. If it was she sent it, I would have probably been done the whole thing. It does move, but it's pretty thick. It's going to take a while to move. But it really penetrated easily as well. So it was low porosity approved, for sure. So I love that. Something that's thick, but when you put it on, it spreads easily, penetrates easily, no problems. Yay. The only problem, the only thing I would say is that it needed more slip. It was just... I have to be really careful putting it on and that applies to everything somehow. I definitely hold not to there on the curling because it had more slip. So maybe it's just because I used that shampoo first but everything wasn't, nothing was giving me woo slip for the whole wash day. So I don't know. This is how the deep conditioner goes on. Like you can see it's very thick but it goes in nice. So I didn't have a problem with it at all. Put it in moisture. Bam. This also has a nice light fruity scent. So I'm also digging the scent. So the ingredients are pretty simple. Nothing in there like super standing out as like woo. But it has everything to get you through. It has your BTMS. Has some argan oil. Has some biotin and silk amino acids. Collagen amino acids. So gets a bit of protein. Has your macadamia seed oil. And it has your glycerin and panthenol as your mectins for moisture. So I think they write home about but it does the job. Everything here, at least the complete formulation is moisturizing. I would have liked to see some film forming in mectins, but glycerin will do the job. Especially in a deep conditioner because they're going to rinse it out. So the nut today, this is the one that super surprised me because when I first went natural, to me the nut today had crazy slip. But when I tried it again after that shampoo and all of that, it didn't give me crazy slip, like I was trying to get it through but I would even say the slip was subpar so just knocked me over with a feather, like I was super surprised at that. Let me try it now and see what I can tell you. So I probably won't repurchase not today, which is kind of amazing to me. Like I always thought this was the beginning and all be all for slip, but it's not that slippery. It does feel nice, but it doesn't feel super slippery. 
it does work in nice as well I put a lot so <laughs> forgive but it does work in nice as well I put a lot so that's why it took a while but it works in nice low porosity approved trust and believe if it wasn't working in this you would be able to tell you the only thing the weird thing I didn't like about this is that it smells like mango chutney like why does my leave-in smell like mango chutney like I never noticed it before because I never used it as a leave-in before I just use a couple like a, like that much to just detangle but when you put a lot it actually smells like chutney and not the sweet kind but the green kind so that was really strange to me I don't think I really want my hair to smell like mango chutney I don't know about you <laughs> but that was a little weird so that would be the second reason I wouldn't buy it again because I wouldn't use it as a leave-in I don't know if I would I don't know I'm just not a fan of the scent. I'm not fond of the scent for, for, I'm saying for chutney. I'm not a fan of the scent for hair. But I never noticed that before until I was actually putting it in my hair, like in huge amounts. So just for detangling or just a little bit like daily refresh or something, it should be fine. And you might even like the scent, I don't know. But for me, it was just, it threw me off. <laughs> threw me off a lot. These are the ingredients. You can see mango fruit extract is the main ingredient. So I expect it to smell like mango. I just wish it had smell like ripe mango instead of chutneyed green mango. And then it has slippery almond marshmallow root, which is supposed to give a crazy slip. Again, maybe it's a shampoo and I'll have to try it all again. In terms of moisture, my hair does feel moisturized. So people complain about this not being super moisturizing. And I feel like probably because they haven't used it in conjunction with the curling custard, but I think like this combination is moisturizing, at least for my low porosity here in the summer. This combination did the job, definitely moisturized my hair. I had no issue with I have no issue with moisture since I have it in my hair right now. Then we get to what I would consider the star of the show, because this one I'm still gonna repurchase. I'm gonna try it again. It, it, like I said, the slip and everything was like uh but it definitely still did the job in terms of like definition and moisture and stuff. So I'm going to give the slip the benefit of the doubt for now and try it again. So yeah, I'm going to have to say this is my favorite of the batch and what I'll definitely most likely be repurchasing. I love that a little goes a long way as well with the Kinky Curly Curling Custom. In fact, a little goes a long way with all of it. So I definitely recommend the line for that. Don't be too scared of the price because a little goes a long way and it goes twice as far as pretty much any of the other products out there. So that's one thing about Kinky Curly. Size doesn't always matter, <laughs> I'll put it that way. Sometimes it might look like a little bit, but it might go a long way. So these are the ingredients. Forstale, nestle, marshmallow, aloe vera juice, agave, pectin. It's pretty simple. I think this whole line kind of keeps it as simple as possible and gets the job done. There's something to be said for clean elegance, I guess. And that's coming from somebody who loves a little extra for this, extra for that. But I respect and appreciate how simple and clean the formulations are and effective. And it gives me moisture, hole, and definition. So, yay. I'm going to definitely repurchase. And this is the result. So, I am loving my hair. I do love the result. My hair is soft, my hair is moisturized, my hair is defined. You know, <laughs> everything is working out, everything is good. Loving, loving. <laughs> okay, loving. You'll get the idea. So, and that was it. In conclusion, I had a happy result of my wash day, and I wish there was more slip, but the moisture and definition and everything else was great. Now, I think like the Sotanicals leave ins definitely have more slip or feel like they do than this nut today. But I'll come back to you guys on that. And I feel like the she said deep conditioners definitely have more slip than this Stella strands as well. But you know, again, I'll come back to you guys on that. So from a true back perspective, it could be that she said this and sultanicals are better. But these definitely still get you where you're going. So what about you? Did you used to like Kinky Curly? Do you still use Kinky Curly? Do you want to try Kinky Curly? Let me know in the comments below if you've tried Kinky Curly recently or if there's any other throwback that you haven't used for years that you either want to give a try or you have recently given a try. Let me know your throwback stories down below, basically. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.